Um, that's my man, man, all day long, and I've told people this. I've, I've hit it, I hit on uh, Instagram about it, and, you know, we, I don't agree with what happened, like a lot of people don't, you know. Specifically the Rhyme Fest situation. Uh, well, uh, just, just all, yeah, I, like, I don't, I don't agree with it, and they know I don't agree with it. Yay know I don't agree with it, but, um, you know, like I've said in the past, you know, we all gonna make mistakes. My thing is, Who's the people he, that's around him right now? Who allowed him to go in TMZ? Who allowed him to do all these things? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, who is the people? Why don't you have somebody around you going, yo, nah, we not, yeah. we not going to TMZ. Yeah, I want to know. So what would you have I said if you were, like, like, in the car at that moment? Bro, I'd have what been would like, you sit your butt down. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Let me play some new music I want to hear. Like, we not going. I'd have been like, I really would have been like, we not going. So when yeah. you say people yeah. around him, do you mean like the Kardashians and the Jenners? Because I'm not even talking about them. Yeah, I'm so just talking about I'm just talking about other people that's around him, whoever's boys, around like, him. His, his yeah, the, the, the Security, new crew, the, the boys, new crew. Your handlers, but who's the new PR? crew? Like, I the new crew is like, it, it ain't us. Like school. Well, he wouldn't have did that. You're saying like his old friends. And, oh, who, and they're uh, gone. He's every, saying the old friends the, are gone. The new the new people that's around yeah. him allow him to do that. Yeah. It wouldn't have been that if it was old people. It was us. Yes, yes. So yes. let me ask you this, because Ye's a friend of yours. You wrote for Conan. You're on a, a hit show with Anthony Anderson. You've yes, done yes. comedy with Martin Lawrence. It's a lot of big names. Yeah. Who's the coolest celebrity that you've bumped shoulders with, or has there been a funny Man, celeb experience? I can't, even, I can't do that. They all have called me and be like, what are you doing? Now? Okay, so like a memorable, Everybody. not the coolest, but a memorable one that stands out in your head. Uh, a celebrity that I've that I've worked with? Yeah. yeah. Or just sat up with? Man. Sat up with? I sat up with, <laughs> sat up with Prince. I sat up with uh, Clint Eastwood. Uh, what was man. Prince like? That's a good starter. I mean, what what was Prince like? It was real intense, yo. It was not one word said, just a lot of eye contact. <laughs> but we said so much with our eyes. That is, I remember Jamie Foxx did a joke about that, about how Prince looked at him with his eyes and like he tripped out. I, so I went through the you same see how thing. Women wow. fall for I am not lying. I sat there and he he was eating the lollipop and he just looked at me. I mean, he looked at me. He was like this. He said. <laughs> and I did it back. You didn't we, know just, we just stared at each other, and then we just turned around and we just sat like maybe about this far from each other, and I just sat there like this. <laughs> and I was gone. I don't know where my mind was. And you were I a whole new was, man out there. Oh, I was gone. <laughs> I said, and I just went. And I told my mom. I said, we went. We, we nodded at each other and <laughs> winked at each other. And that was it. And that was it. So comedy's obviously become your thing, and, and you've made a very handsome... President Obama, movie. too. That was amazing. Yeah, when that's I went great, to the White House. Especially oh, here nice. in Chicago. Yeah. Is it true that your comedy career started with a dare? Yes. Yeah, like, you're watching man. Eddie Murphy's Delirious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take me through how this... Me and my man, Gwillamy. That's a tripped out name, right? But yep. we went to school together, my man, <laughs> What was his name again? Gwillamy. What's his last name? Roberts. <laughs> government. I gave the government right now. Yeah, home like no. Oh, why would you do that? What's his phone number? <laughs> no, no, Gwill is what we call him. He bet me fifty dollars, and I was, and I had a layaway at the time, and I just was like, all right, I'll do it. So I got that fifty dollars and never looked back. I gave him his fifty back though. Oh, okay, good. You don't want to owe anybody. To the dime. <laughs> I was like forty-seven, forty-eight, and forty-nine fifty. There you go. We're even. It's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we gotta ask you why you're here. We gotta ask you about the Roseanne stuff yes, going yes, on. Yes. Obviously, it's big news. Uh -huh. She made these uh, wild tweets. She's lost her show. You're in the family there at ABC. Mm -hmm. What's your take on all this? Well, you know, what's done in the dark will be brought to the light. And, you know, I think that, you know, when people are like that, you know, it's going to come out, you know, and that's exactly what happened, you know. We, oh, go ahead. I'm, no, go, I'm just going to say, yeah, so, you know, we're just keeping it moving and, you know. We, 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 another one exposed. Yep. We're gonna keep it moving. You think another network might pick them up? Pick them up? Pick them up? Yeah. I, I, I Crazier don't know. things have happened in entertainment. I don't know. I don't okay. know. I have no idea. But um, we gonna have a problem with that network if that happens too, though. Probably. Yeah, right? no doubt. People gonna probably trip out on that. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with her. I know I am at the Improv in Shine. <laughs> I was just gonna say, what's what's going on with?
with you next because you have so many different <laughs> lanes, as Jordan was saying. Yeah. What's what's on the horizon for you? Man, right now I just uh, sold a show that Ooh, uh, I'm working on. Thank you so much. Nice. Just finished two movies. Just finished two movies uh, two days ago. That uh, one for Netflix called Friendsgiving, uh, Ben Stiller, and another movie called uh, Welcome Matt. So you need uh, with a vacation. My girl Jasmine. Yeah, we just finished those and touring with Martin Lawrence. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, the so lit tour. So you're coming tour. back next week? No, no, I won't be here next week because okay. I have my own tour that I'm doing oh, as well. So okay. I'm between two tours and uh, gearing up. We're about to start shooting Blackish soon and Grownish soon and, What's you know, Angie Tribeca and Conan. And do you guys feel like, I want to ask you about Blackish before we let you go, because, yeah. you know, we had the Cosby show, and that was such mm -hmm. a big deal back then. Yeah. We all know what's happened with Bill. That show's gone away. Mm -hmm. Do you guys feel like you're almost having to represent for a culture with this new show that's had such wild success that shows black people in a realistic light, and it's not some superficial, it's just so real, but it's so entertaining. Yeah. Do you guys recognize that you you were putting that on? For, yeah, for yeah. We, we recognize that we holding the torch and we speaking for the people and, and we, we're bringing, we shedding light on different topics. Because you're hitting well. everything like, yeah. as it comes. I mean, and we and we understand the torch that, that we've been given and we're holding it. And, uh, you know, as long as people resonate with what we're doing, then, you know, I think that uh, we hopefully will we'll be around or whatever. But uh, that Blackish family is is amazing. The Grownish family is amazing. And you were only supposed to be a every now and again character. I and you said, no, I'm taking the I wasn't screen. even supposed to be on the show. <laughs> really? I went over there to write. Because I was I had, an, wow. I had another show on TBS called Angie Tribeca yep. with Rashida Jones. Yeah. And I went over there, yeah, and I went over there to write. And uh, the guy name was, the guy who was playing the character was Charlie Murphy. That's why my character's named Charlie. Charlie yeah. and so I was supposed to write for him. And he didn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. And so they was like, who knew the character better than me? The Kenya Barris was like, you should just play the character. And I went in and played they it. He said, man, we got to make this a reoccurring thing. Man, it just, it just happened, right? That's all it. Right, Dion yeah. Cole, you're the best, man. Thank you so much with all you Yo, got going on. Please come on out to the improv. Hit me on Instagram, D E O N C O L E. Come on out. Get my easy scratch, too, everybody. Right, welcome <laughs> in the DMs, everybody. Slide up in him. He'll be performing at the improv in Schomburg, like he said, tonight through Sunday. Yes. Go ahead and head on over to chicago.improv.com. That's where you can find all the ticket information. Dion, incredibly funny and gracious for Thank joining you us. So Thank you so much.